I was asked by one of my subscribers how I did the wiring by means of the energy chains, which we can see here on x-axis and here on y-axis. Uh, it was actually quite simple, a bit tedious, but not a big deal actually. Um, first of all, I would say about uh, the main reason for the energy chain installation and it was the original system of uh, leading the cables to the stepper and the laser yeah? because there was something like antenna which was carrying these two cables the red one is to the laser and uh, the green one is uh, to the X stepper motor and uh, because I wanted to have or to build this box so I had two options either to make the box quite high to avoid touching the antenna to the top of uh, the box or to manage something the cabling and don't use the uh, the original antenna yeah. So, first thing was to choose something uh, with uh, the smallest uh, inertia mass possible. Yeah. So, the smallest inner size of uh, the energy chain for the x-axis, I choose 10 by 10 because the terminals especially for for the laser yeah, they are quite big and uh, I didn't want to dismantle the cables from the terminal I wanted to pull the cable also with the terminal through through the energy chain so size 10 by 10 the inner size 10 by 10 was fine for this approach there are also smaller inner sizes like 7x7, seven seven, yeah. but 10x10 uh, 10 10 was fine for me. So how to guide these cables and uh, also this pressured air hose through this energy chain? It was quite simple. Yeah. I took a uh, long thin stick and uh, while this energy chain was straightened so I put the stick through the whole length of the energy chain then I took a piece of cord and uh, on one end I tightened it to the stick and on the second end I tightened it to the terminal of the wires then I simply pulled it back and in such a way I passed all these cables and also the hose through this quite small energy chain. Yeah? Because this small energy chain was quite cheap and it does not have the opening ability of each cell. Okay, so that was regarding the x-axis. Uh, one more note, yeah, because the antenna, the length of the cables, which are passing through the antenna and the shrinking uh, tube, it was on the edge regarding the length between this point and the stepper yeah, and the laser. And because of this return of the energy chain I had to make the cables a bit longer yeah? so I simply cut the cables on one end or one place and I took the same wires I mean of the same cross section and uh, the wire was 25 centimeters long yeah so then I soldered the ends together again 
on this place and this place and that's it now regarding the y-axis it was a bit simpler situation because I have chosen the energy chain with uh, opening ability again I did uh, the insertion of the cabling while this energy chain was straightened I simply opened all the cells along the entire energy chain and then I put three things in it yeah the first was the power supply which is running from here and uh, energy chain to the main power plug on the control board then the USB cable for cut data and the hose for pressured air so that's it quite simple uh, maybe uh, two uh, notes about some features which I use within my laser cutting machine and uh, these are these brackets it's very simple yeah? it's I don't know 12 centimeters long strip of two millimeter thick aluminum properly bent and by means of uh, double-sided sticky tape there is fixed uh, neodym magnet 10 millimeters diameter 10 millimeters high and because my laser bed is made of ferrous sheet metal so then it's simply clicked on it and holding the raw material and another update was these uh, air assist um, the design is mine but it's uh, not like reinvention the wheel yeah, it's quite similar to already existing designs I just wanted to have my own because I used this fitting there and uh, if you would like to make this air assist on your own I will put a link to the Thingiverse where I published this particular design so you are free to do it for your own purposes and last but not least I crossed over the technical issues with my 4k camera and currently I'm running the camera in 4k resolution so I'm happy of it okay Thanks for watching.